in this video, I'm going to share with you three brilliant profitable business ideas. Hey gang, I'm James Sinclair. I'm a business owner here in the UK. I've been running businesses for over 15 years now. We employ hundreds of people and we've turned millions of pounds and I take all of this to help grow your business. If you love videos on marketing, business growth, profitable businesses, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit subscribe and the little notification bell so we can let you know by the gods of YouTube when we're bringing out great new content to help grow your business. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, let's get into this because, you know, I've done loads of seminars, spoken to loads of entrepreneurs and business owners, and really what it comes down to, they, a lot of them say, James, what's the most profitable businesses out there? What are there so many different types of businesses? And it is true that some businesses are just way more profitable than others. And really, you want to shoehorn yourself into the more profitable business ideas rather than the least profitable business ideas. It's just the way it is, and hopefully in this video, I'm going to share with them some of those tips, really, that are going to get you to be a more profitable business rather than the most business that just trugs along through on and on and really not making it. So let's get into it. Um, I've just really put up here the number one reason that some businesses are more profitable than others is they have a high margin. And there's a quick rule on this high margin thing. It's what I call the times five rule. So if you're buying a product for a pound, you need to be able to sell it for five pounds. People go, oh my God, you're ripping everyone off. Well, let me just go through and explain why we're not ripping anyone off here. If you buy something for a pound, you sell it for five pounds. Roughly a pound of that's going to be of that. Roughly a pound of that's going to be on your staffing. Roughly a pound of that's going to be on your operational overheads. Roughly a pound of that's going to be for the product. So that's just a measly 20% profit for you. And in reality, there's going to be more and more X's taken away from you there. So try, try your absolute hardest to make sure you've got the highest possible margin. Don't think that if you're buying in something for a pound and selling it for one pound fifty or two pounds that you're making loads of money because the X's are going to steal all of that gross profit before you actually make a net profit. So in effect, you want to make sure you've got the highest possible gross profit so that you have a chance of making a great net profit. Let's move on. Number two in finding a business that's profitable is making sure it's leveraged. Now, some business owners have unleveraged work and some have leveraged work. You see, I've wrote loads of books. I'm making these videos right now. They're leveraged work, i.e. I do the work once and get paid forever. I make a book, I get it put on the internet, and I sell it, and it keeps on working for me. Other businesses are what I call the set the stall business. Every morning, you're setting out your stall. Maybe you're a market stall. You're setting out your stall. That's unleveraged work. You repeat the work every single day to make income. You you need to try and find leverage work because if you're always forcing yourself into the setting the stall mentality, then you're never going to have time to do higher profitable tasks like marketing, going getting customers because you're forced to always do operations. Try and make sure you choose a business that's leveraged in terms of your time and you've got a far better chance of making that more profitable because you'll have time to go and do profit making tasks. Let's move on. Next thing is love, want and need. If you can find a business that where people love Love, want and need it, you tend to find it's going to be way more profitable than the businesses that just have two of these elements. And most businesses do have just two of these elements. You know, going out to a restaurant, yeah, people love to go out and eat. They want to go out and eat, but they don't need to go out and eat. They can eat at home, and therefore it's a discretionary spend. Whenever you've got discretionary in your business, you tend to find it's not as profitable as the ones that don't have discretionary. So let's look at the iPhone. People love their iPhones. They want an iPhone, and they, they would absolutely say they need an iPhone now to operate live. So you've got to find this love, want and needs. why I love childcare. Day nurseries, they love their childcare, they want their childcare because they've got to go to work, they need their childcare, it follows the love, want and need. So try and find all three of those elements in your business. I've got some examples now of some businesses that I've discovered are the most profitable when I've worked with business owners over the last few years and spoken at tons of seminars speaking to business owners. Let's look into it. Here they are. Um, insurance brokering, I've always found this is a really good business. It's a business that's not discretionary. People know they need insurance. Uh, here's the thing as well. If you do a really good job as an insurance broker, the client just renews with you every single month. And that's really powerful. So look for uh, insurance brokering types of businesses where people repeat buy from you. Commercial property, again, leverage work. You build a commercial property or you buy a commercial property, you put a tenant in and they pay you every single month. Very profitable. Also, education, training, and consultancy. Think about private schools, daily these types of businesses where people pay you regularly. Same with consultancy businesses and training businesses. They're renewed customers and they know that they need to have this stuff. People want their children to be educated. They'd love for their children to learn how to read and write. 
right. They want them to have great jobs. They need them to do this stuff. It follows the love, want, and need. It makes it, therefore, far more profitable. It's not discretionary. And care homes and senior living, that's another great example. There's some of my snapshot into profitable businesses. I've got this one last thing that I want to share with you on profitable businesses. Avoid the businesses that start from zero each month. This is just so stressful on you if you've got to go and find customers each and every single month. Far better to, like my commercial property insurance brokerage example, you find a client and they buy from you continuously and they keep buying from you as long as you deliver great customer service. Look for those types of businesses. They're usually always more profitable. They might be a bit harder to build, but hey, it's well worth it. Thanks for watching the video. If you've got any ideas, any comments you've got, where you think, hmm, I don't agree with you, James, or maybe you've got some better ideas, hit them in the comments below. I'll do my very best to reply. See you real soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed it to help grow your business. Don't forget you can watch more of my videos by clicking here. And don't forget to hit subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking this button right here. It gets better than that because you can come and see me at one of my seminars to help grow your business. All the details of how you can get to one of those for free is in the video description.